Joe, what are you doing in that bush? I'm hiding. Hiding for what? The, the police, the, the police are after me. Why, what have you done? It's because of this game for the 3DS that I'm playing. It's, it's in Rankagara too. Do you want to play it? So what is this? Oh. oh what? Joe, this is filth. If I get up, get up, get out of this bush near my house. Right, now, just wait. Before you start tutting at me and rolling your eyes and judging me, just hear me out, okay? This is Senran Kagura 2. It's a game where you play as a group of student shinobi taking on ninja armies in hack and slash fighting stages, with set piece boss battles topping off each level. It's also a game where the entire cast of girls has massive tits, and where the more you attack your enemies, the more their clothes fall off. Oh, and if you get hard enough yourself, your clothes tear away until you're cutting about in your bikini. It is, essentially, a 14 year old boy's dream use for the 3DS's stereoscopic slider, if staring at Ep in his arse in Glorious 3D wasn't enough for you. Let's just ignore all that though, let's look at Senran Kagura 2 for how it plays before we talk about anything else. Have you played Dynasty Warriors? It's kind of like that mixed with Streets of Rage. You've got linear levels with the odd branching path where you'll find health and other goodies, but the main thing you'll be doing is taking down swarms of enemies. And you know what? It's great fun! The combos are fast and easy to pick up, the special moves are flashy and can get you out of a tight spot, and everything moves at a lightning quick pace. One of the cool things is how different each character feels. You get standard ninja weapons like swords and daggers, but some of the girls use more outlandish gear, like big flying combat boots, or electricity, or even a big cuddly toy. The more you play, the more you level up too, unlocking more moves and different combos. It's also pretty much perfect for playing on the handheld, with each level being short and sweet, and the boss fights never taking up too much of your time, even if they can be as hard as nails if you don't get any attacks in early enough. And all of that is such a shame, because the puerile, pervy aspect of Senran Kagura 2 means that it will turn a lot of people off, and rightly so, and the characters and costume designs don't leave much to the imagination. In a world where a lot of games are trying really hard to be taken seriously and not just a thing for teenage boys, Senran Kagura can be seen as a bit of a kick in the teeth. But then, I don't know, is it really that bad? It's puerile, it's immature and a bit pervy. But are those things really bad in themselves? I mean, I know I'm saying this as a white guy, but I'm not really sure how much harm stuff Senran Kagura does to the world. It's definitely less offensive to women than, I don't know, Grand Theft Auto V, a game where every female character is either a prostitute, an idiot, or a whining nag. No wonder I'm so upset! You too, please. At least the characters in this actually talk to each other and have proper relationships, with rivals throwing shade before a fight and friends poking gentle fun at each other. For all I was rolling my eyes at Senran Kagura for the constant bikini shots, I actually grew to kind of like the characters a bit. So, I understand if Senran Kagura is the kind of game that you hate to see exist. Its immaturity will put a lot of people off and that is perfectly fine. But if you're okay with the design choices, and if you like hack and slash games, then you'll find a nice bunch of characters in a good, fun game, and not just an excuse for a teenager to have a wank after getting the internet taken away by his parents.